I have a seventh channel that I was able to assign safe to. And so I have flat oh, that looks good. and landing gear, but I'm just enjoying this guys. Wow. Now that fuel tank on the bottom is completely optional. You can just slide that on or off if you like. I charged my two biggest 6S batteries, one of which is 5,000. That's what I'm flying on because it's recommended. And the other is a 4,000 milliamp battery. There's full throttle guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, FW190 by E-Flight. This thing is sweet. This is brand new. It just came out. It was just announced. I couldn't be more excited. I, I, I love Warbirds, and uh, for this to be E-Flight's very first Axis Warbird, you know, the bad guys, I think they made a good choice. This is a machine of beauty. Although it was the bad guys, they're not the bad guys anymore, right? So we can appreciate this machinery and uh, just the oh, beauty sideways like that. of this airplane. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a beautiful plane. So there's a few things that we're gonna drool over here for a second before we fly, but today we're gonna made in this plane. I've never flown it. Huge. I've just barely powered it on. So this should be very interesting to see how it goes. You guys know us, you know our channel. We don't hide things, we don't sugarcoat things. So if something bad happens, you're gonna see it here. If it flies perfectly, that's good for all of us because we want this to fly perfectly. So let's check out that very cool spinner on the front of the three-bladed prop. While you guys can probably see and hear the wind, I'm kind of nervous about today's flight. This is very windy, uh, but I'm very excited to spin that up with some throttle and see that sucker rotating. That's going to look beautiful. Show them the underside. Yeah, the underside is very exciting on this airplane. Let me get a good hold on it. <laughs> so as to be expected, we do have retracts on this. Uh, this big of an airplane, I'd hope we'd have retracts. It looks good. Guys, I've, I've done the retracts at the house when I put this together. It went down and back up very beautifully, nice and smooth. I'm excited to show you that in today's video. There's also a fuel drop tank that you can add to the bottom of this. I have it with me. It's pretty big and I'll add it after I've got my landing gear down. I've got to actually reverse a couple switches in my radio. So this was nice, kind of cool, kind of interesting. The three bladed prop is actually uh, three individual prop pieces and they're each held on with two bolts underneath the spinner. So there's six screws or bolts holding uh, the whole prop in. Actually, there's more than that. I love the prop assembly. If you look in behind the prop, you can see the small like turbine fans. You see that? Yep. They're actually a part of that prop, which I think is very awesome. Uh, did I mention that this flies on six cells? This is a 6S airplane. Very awesome. Uh, I, it went together much faster than expected. It's funny because Abby sat down to work on Patreon stickers last night. We decided to watch a little Survivor together while we worked on our things. I worked on the airplane, she worked on Patreon stickers. We thought we would come out pretty even. I got done in one episode of Survivor. She got done in three episodes of Survivor. So that tells you how long it takes to build this. About one episode of Survivor, half watching it. <laughs> I can't believe I admitted we're watching this, but that's okay. Oh, this is really cool Season too. Season 26, that's what's even worse. All of the air instrument things on the wing, the machine guns, they're all screwed in just by hand. So uh, it's very nicely done. A lot of times these are stabbed in and glued in place or uh, maybe they snap in. That was threaded in with machine screws. Very cool. This just feels like a high quality RC plane and I know you guys want to watch it fly. So let's maiden this thing and see how it does. I'm excited. There's nothing like new plane nerves and anxiety and adrenaline. So I, I'm nervous. It's kind of windy. I wish it wasn't this windy, but uh, yeah, let's go. You ready? Yep. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Whoa, I gotta get those flaps nice. put away because that was nose into the wind. So, okay, keep my throttle up. We're flying a Warbird and I'll put that landing gear up on this pass here. I'm gonna leave the landing gear down for now. Whew, nervous, <laughs> oh, but excited. Here we go. Landing gear should be going up. We'll get it down a little closer. We'll get it down a little closer. I just wanted to get a feel for everything. Don't worry, I gotta keep my throttle up on these banks. Safe is gonna be on for a while on this flight. Uh, I'll make it look better. I gotta trim things up a hair, but on a maiden flight, you know, this is what we do here. 
So I do have a little, little extra up elevator than what I would like, so I'm gonna trim that out. Quite a bit, actually. And throttle up on the curves. We don't wanna lose it here. I'm gonna use a little rudder on that turn, and there we go, that looks so much better. Okay, let's come in for a little bit lower of a strafing run. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that was nice. That was so nice. Okay, I still need a little bit of trimming here, even with safe, you know. I'd rather it have a little too much climb than nosing down or something, so I'm okay with that. We just gotta trim it up on our first flight. Plus, we're fighting a lot of wind today. Oh my gosh. What do you think of that? That's How's awesome. How's it looking? Good? It's awesome. Still trimming. Um, one thing I think is really cool about flying on the NX6 radio is that even though it's officially a six channel radio, I have a seventh channel that I was able to assign safe to. And so I have flaps oh, that looks good. and landing gear plus safe assigned to a switch. Normally you'd need a seven or an eight channel radio to pull that off. So that's the beauty of this NX6 radio. You really kind of have seven if you're using that seventh channel for safe. There it is. A nice little bank for Thank us. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to have fun. I have safe assigned to a switch. I want to turn it off on this maiden and pull off at least a roll here on this maiden flight, but I'm just enjoying this guys. Wow. Now that fuel tank on the bottom is completely optional. You can just slide that on or off if you like. I thought I'm just gonna go all out and put it on on this maiden flight the way, the way it's you know packaged in there. So here we go. Oh, I like this plane a lot. Easy to film oh, yeah. on this beautiful Huge. day. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I'm just doing the basic stuff right now, but this is a true maiden and I wanna get a feel for it. We're rocking in the wind. But the AS3X is helping keep it stable. Let's do a full throttle pass. I have not even done that yet. Get a feel of the speed here on this. Oh, I'm liking this thing. There's full throttle, but it's not letting me come down as much. I'll do it on this next pass. Seems like when I'm uh, going that way, for some reason, I think the wind is just kind of keeping me in the air. That's, that's nose into the wind. So we'll come and get a little lower on this, this one. There's full throttle, guys. Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what I wanna just kick safe off and climb. So you know what? Ugh, I gotta do it, I gotta kick safe off. I'm gonna climb up a little bit just to see how it feels with safe off. Safe is off now. We're just relying on AS3X to keep us a little bit stable. Let's go for a roll. Yes, okay. This actually feels really good with safe off. I feel like I have just a little bit more control over it. So let's bring it in. I just, yeah, this feels better. For me, this just feels better. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Let's go for it. We're gonna climb into that bright blue, beautiful sky. Let's roll it over and bring it back down around. This is fun. Okay, so all my buddies out there that have P51s, cause you know, I've just obsessed over P51s all these years. We're gonna dogfight together now. That's what this is all about. <laughs> That's what this is about. Just getting a feel for this guys. Remember, this is my maiden flight. It's maidening, I think, really well. Oh, we got it a little close. I'm just gonna bring it back around. That was coming right at us. Just wanna keep her safe, because this is a new plane. Can we do a roll? You're uh, talking about the plane and not your camera wife. No, 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 I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. You. <laughs> There's our loop. I wasn't sure if we were gonna pull a loop off Good today job. on a maiden, but we got it. Nice and high. This crazy winds. So we have nav lights too. I didn't really mention anything about those. I just saw a nice bright green nav, li nav light, excuse me, on that pass. You've got your red and green. And what you're hearing now is just a five minute timer on the radio. So it's recommended, I'm gonna go back on safe so I can talk a little uh, better here. It's recommended to fly on a 6S 5,000 milliamp battery. Now, if this flight and landing goes well, I will put in a 4,000 milliamp battery and see how it performs. I charged my two biggest 6S batteries, one of which is 5,000. That's what I'm flying on because it's recommended. And the other is a 4,000 milliamp battery. And I will try that and see how it does because you know you could save a few bucks if you're flying on a 4000 milliamp but if it doesn't perform well it you know the balance is off or something then i'm not going to recommend you guys fly on that 
You worried me there for a second. Just got a little low. You stuttered and got low. <laughs> I got worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I am Maiden. focused, you guys. Sure. You know this ain't this ain't a hundred dollar foamy airplane. I'm, I'm, it's a primo Oops, airplane. I'm trying to get it low to the ground, but you know I don't want to get too low. Uh, I don't want to bring her down this early. I want this plane to last hundreds of flights. So, so you I don't have get too brave on my mate. battery telemetry. Right. Yes, okay. we do. Because I was Man, like, you are way over five good. minutes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Six and a half. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to land it and we'll see where the battery uh, voltage is at and stuff. So let's bring the landing gear down on this pass. There we go. I got the gear down on that bank. And I will... This is going to be hard because we have a horrible, horrible cross breeze. So wish me luck. I'm going to use flaps. And we might not be standing in the best place to land this. So let's step back a hair, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, we just missed a uh, yeah, all, just a all bank. we missed was a turn. But what I'm going to do is basically come in off this hill and bring it down. You can see my shadow, so that's helping with depth perception. And I'll I'll bring it in for landing just Too like fast. that. <laughs> us. Okay, so I can see my shadow off that hill, knowing that I'm past the hill, and hopefully bring it in for a smooth landing. Um, this is a first time landing this. It is a heavy airplane, so. Again, wish me luck. Take We're gonna go numerous attempts flaps. if you have to. Yes, of course. I will hopefully just put it in my comfort zone. I'm okay to land coming toward me. Let's look for that. There's the shadow. So we know we're past the hill. Let's get past those cattails that are cut down low. And there we go. We're okay. There we go. That, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a little rough. We got some strong wind. I'm okay with that. That's not a bad maiden. I will take that. Let's see how she taxis after that. Not a bad maiden. Let's put in the 4,000 and, and have, you know what? You know what, we're gonna save that for another day. That was a really <laughs> good maiden. I'm gonna test some other batteries and we'll let you guys know how they perform on other flights. Now let's take a look here at the telemetry on our radio. Here's our main home screen and people are asking questions about this radio telemetry setup, okay? What we do is we just roll this wheel over one and we can see, this is awesome. This is where you can switch uh your it's let's say i don't like this uh, flap switch being here you know i can i can switch that position in here but here we have our flight log tells us all kinds of information we have our min max voltage on the receiver here's esc min max range for those of you that want to geek out over this here i kept it pretty easy on this thing the esc status here's our battery info very cool Here's our smart battery voltage left. So we landed at 3.8 volts per cell, which to those of you that geek out over battery stuff know that that is actually 3. Point, almost 9 volts. That's a storage charge on a battery. So I probably could have flown for at least two to three more minutes without any issue. I didn't get any alarm from my radio saying my voltage was low, but because I'm new to flying that, I wanted to land with ample battery voltage. So that not that awesome just to have all that readily available right there for you absolutely love that there's tons of stuff tons of telemetry in here so for me i almost only really care about my battery voltage you know you're flying it's nice to know when you're getting a low voltage and it's time to land so uh, it, it gives you an audible alarm and you know like beeps to say hey your voltage is low if i was going cranking it past the full throttle it probably would have told me right there hey you've got a low voltage uh, an alarm going off and it's time to land but i was flying fairly docile although i did give it a few full throttle passes i think that that's a fairly average flight i did a few combat maneuvers we'll say you know some rolls and so, a couple loops so I think that's a fairly average flight. And what was it, about six and a half, seven minute flight? Yeah, you and did I, really I, good. I think I could have easily gotten about two to three more minutes of flight. So we could say about a nine minute average flight on that battery, and that's a big heavy airplane. So I really have nothing to complain about. Very awesome. But I hopefully showed you guys a little bit more information. To those of you that like that information, it is there. Basically anything and everything you can think of, it's in the radio. For me, the, the biggest concern, again, is the battery voltage. Now, I think I might have a, 
a video explaining this in the near future, but this is a six channel radio. It's like six and a half, okay? It's the brand new Spectrum NX6. I like it because you can connect to your Wi-Fi at your house to do the updates instead of having to do the confusing firmware updates by like, you know, plugging in a memory card or USB cord or whatever. You just connect to Wi-Fi, update, and it'll do it very easy. But the best part about it is it comes out of the box like this with telemetry. You bind this radio to that airplane out of the box and all that telemetry works. There's no confusing, like gotta update this and know how to do that and this and that. No, it just works. Just the way I explained it right there. It really is that easy. So I like that a lot. Um, it's got a few other cool things going for it, but those are my favorite things. And that I assigned, I assigned safe to this switch on all of our planes, just so Abby and I both know, boom, right where it is. Your finger's almost there anyway. So that's, that's our kind of like seventh bonus channel with that very cool setup. If you guys are as excited as me, we'll have all the good stuff linked in the description box below. This was really a perfect maiden considering you can hear that wind. We've got to be getting over 10 mile an hour winds today, gusting even higher. You know, we, we watched a full scale plane come in and even he was having to use that rudder to come in and really bring it in. So the wind sock is full. It does handle wind. Don't maiden yours in wind though. Do not do it. I just wanted to do this because this sucker just came out today. So I kind of had to, you know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Well, I want to hear from you guys. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the FW190, the Axis airplane by E Flight? I think that's super cool. We got to have something to dogfight. You can't just put a P51 against the Corsair or another P51. Now we got a bad guy we can shoot down, right? I just want to give you a high five because your last FW190 did not end well. Did not end well. No. So proud of you. Thank you. Yes, I got <laughs> back job. on the horse. I think that's part of why I was so nervous. I was nervous for you. <laughs> and it is down in one piece. I don't care about that landing. It was very windy. I'll take it. Well, for the good and the bad, the FW190 crash I had in the past that was an off-brand FW190. And then this successful flight here today of this new FW190, I thank God, I thank the big guy upstairs for all the experiences in my life that just bring us to who we are now, you know? Uh, life is crazy sometimes, but there's a lot of good to be had. And for that good, I thank our Patreon supporters. You guys help keep the channel rocking and rolling where we can bring some fun RC content to you. We just forget about the poop in the world and come have some fun with RCs. You, our patrons, are amazing. Thank you so much for that. You really keep our smile rolling more than if we didn't have you. So you mean a lot to us. Thank you so much. Guys, for a maiden, I have nothing to complain about. This thing is beautiful, awesome, absolutely amazing. And I do think you should pick one up. If you use our links in the description box below, that's a great way to support our channel because it doesn't cost you an extra penny, but it does help support our video and our channel and stuff. So, you know, if, if this was helpful to you in any way at all, or you just enjoy what we do, just, and, and you wanna buy it, then use our link and it just helps us. You know, get your name on the pre-order list, Get that sucker shipping to you. This thing is amazing. We'll have another Warbird video that is a lot of fun popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.